And I know they really wish we would fall Till we fall on the big bad wolf There's a full moon What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Kepkep17 bringing you another video today. What we're going to be talking about in today's video is Infinite Warfare and how you can get a nuke within that game. So as you guys know, Infinity Ward always like to add a 25 gun streak within the game. Back in Modern Warfare 2 where it was game ending to Modern Warfare 3 where it was just a Moab. Goes where it was just a chem strike and in this game it's going to be a nuke again but I don't think it's game ending or anything like that. It's just going to... Act like the chem strike pretty much. I think it's even got the same exact symbol as well, which is pretty cool. I like the chem strike symbol. And I prefer these kind of kill streaks or death gun streaks, whatever you want to call them, to Treyarch's version where it's just a nuclear medal and it's a 30 like gun streak as well. Because with Treyarch's games, you get the medal, yeah, but no one in the lobby knows that you just went on that insane streak to obtain that medal, apart from your teammates or maybe in your party chat. Uh, and stuff like that. I like to drop a chem strike on the enemy team so that they know that I just destroyed them And that was probably my most favorite part of ghost pubs I know a lot of people give it hate that ghost was a really bad game But I love pub stomping in that game just for that aspect that I know that I just destroyed the enemy team And they know as well because they just got chem strike. I mean Hopefully they get rid of that annoying yellow hazy tin after the chem strike gets dropped because you can't see a damn thing But I'm really excited Super excited for this because it means I'm going to be able to go on another 25 gun streak and be able to destroy some enemy teams. I mean, it may be a little bit harder in this game because I did end up with 250 plus kill strikes within Ghost, which was ridiculous for me because I started off the game really, really bad and progressively got better as the game went on. And it just became like everyday thing to me getting a kill strike. I just find it really fun to do that within pubs because you know pubs can get a bit boring and there's nothing to go for but now they've added this in it means i'm gonna be able to grind and be able to destroy the enemy teams and i'm a choke artist when it comes to the 30 gun streak i have got about 20 nucleus in black ops 3 and only and about 50 plus brutals so you can see where my skill level lies i can only go on a 25 kill streak and then the rest of the other ones are just choke but anyway let's go to how we're going to be able to obtain this kill streak within infinite warfare now i believe it's not just something that just happens you're gonna have to like pull it on in a sense like you know in modern warfare 2 where you had to like it literally have to like click it for it to be on otherwise you weren't going to be able to get the nuclear it's kind of similar in this game i believe so i'm not sure if it's going to be like that where you have to click it within the kill streak category but i know that you're going to have to use a certain weapon variant and yes infinite warfare does have weapon variants just like advanced warfare did with the bow like the inferno and the obsidian steel i think it's called and the speakies with the asm one it's going to be kind of like that but i'm not sure it's going to be that significant where one bet one gun is literally better than the other gun i think it's gonna have like certain attachments where one will have like quick draw built in or one will have fast max built in and one of them will have the nuke kind of like built in and you can only go on the 25 gun street to get the nuke with that specific weapon if you pick up someone else's weapon and it doesn't have that certain category of gun on where the nuke is implemented then you will not Get the nuke after 25 you're gonna have to use your gun so make sure you're running scavenger and that you are used to the gun that you're using because i know i like to pick up some people's guns off the floor that may be a little bit better than mine or maybe suited for a certain situation like close quarters in case i have an ar and they have a sub so i pick it up off the floor i definitely am guilty for doing that but now that's not going to be the case if you're going for the nuke. you're gonna have to stick to the weapon that you've got so make sure you like that weapon and that you're good with that weapon so that you can go on the 25 nuke. I mean, it's going to be kind of challenging. I'm not sure why they changed it to this, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get a nuke regardless and show you guys some pretty cool gameplay with Infinite Wolf. I'm super excited for this. Uh, I just love absolutely destroying people in pubs. So this is going to make it that more enjoyable that they know that I just destroyed them. But anyway, guys, if you are excited for this as well, hit the thumbs up button. Let me know down in the comment section below if you're good enough to go in camp because I know some people struggle. But I know a lot of you guys are probably better than me at the game. So if you're going to go for these nukes slash chem strikes with any infinite warfare, let me know down in the comment section. It's been your boy, Kim Kim 17 and I shall see you in my next video. Thanks for watching and peace. Say please. And I know they really wish we would fall till we fall. I'm the big bad wolf, there's a full moon, y'all. Talk money in the egg, girl.